Well, the tutorial I'm going to read is Script Show Art by uh, Brian Rood that I purchased from Sideshow Collectibles website. Uh, I remember this art came out like uh, months ago and I remember it got sold out right on the release date. And the reason I missed it is uh, I didn't pre-order it so I didn't get the chance to uh, get one. But I remember I put my name on the wish list and the wait list item. Uh, so like a week ago I got an email, yeah about a week ago I got an email that they told me that your wish list item is ready to purchase. There's only one left and so I got it right away because uh, this thing is limited to 500 uh, and I think mine is number 87 it said in the bottom part of the art I'll show you guys. Uh, so yeah I purchased one and I'm very glad. Uh, I'm a big creep show fan. Uh, the classic movie I really like and this is not from I thought this might be from the actual uh, movie first but then no this is from the actual series that came out uh, started coming out in 2019 and you can see all the characters over there which I'm gonna go closer so you so you guys can see how uh, they all look uh, but yeah I'm really glad I got it I got the unframed version there's like three versions of this unframed the black frame and the white uh, framed ones that were all sold out so there was only one left of this which they sent me an email so I got the unframed version and took it to Michael's actually a few days three four days ago and they framed it for me and my opinion actually it came out pretty good uh, I'm gonna go grab my camera right now and actually go closer and so you guys can see how the art looks the frame everything so let's check it out I gotta just grab my camera and I'm gonna go closer and so you guys can see how it looks. Uh, I'm very glad that I purchased one and I saw the notification that sent me that my wishlist item is ready to purchase. Um, they sent me late at night, right before I sleep and I checked my email then I saw that it's ready and I remember I got it right away, which I'm very glad I checked my email that night. Uh, this is the frame that I actually got from Michaels. I took an art there and I was actually looking to see if I can maybe find a frame for this and I can figure out how to do it. Um, but the guy over there says 27 and said 27, 22 by 17 is kind of hard to find um, for a frame. Uh, so they said I gave it to use like math around it and I picked the black. There's a bunch of option. Uh, so I feel like it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see in the pictures actually that's uh, their frame version that's uh, for Brian Rood. Brian Rood like he has a black frame version and white. That's the pr uh, black one. I feel like it's very very similar to this. The only difference is that he's at black but has a red uh, line in there too. But other than that it's the exact same. The frame version is 220 bucks. Uh, but mine came out lower than that. The actual on frame version is 60 bucks for the art if you guys want just the on frame version. Uh, so I got that one and I just framed it. Uh, and you can see the way they did it is like so it can show the, the signature and my edition number. This is hand signed by Brian Rood. And you can see it's limited of 500 and mine is number 87. So I'm glad that it shows because I was worried. But yeah, it's pretty good that they put the uh, signature and actually it's showing. Uh, yeah, and they framed it and I decided to pick a black. Uh, there was a navy blue too, but I like the black one more. Some other options, but I felt like the black is gonna match, especially that around it, it's uh, white around the art. Uh, but yeah, very glad I picked it. Uh, you can see on the top, it's a strange, eerie, and terrifying creep show tells of suspense and horror. And you can see the 10 cents right there. That's the comic price. Pretty cool. And here is the, of course, the creep reading the comic. Of course, this is the number one reason I picked this. And it has this coded is really cool and you can see a bunch of episodes from that show all the characters 
monsters in there. Episodes like The House of the Head, Bad Wolf Down, and many more. And this is a the print, 100% cotton. You can see a magazine right there in the bottom, I mean the comic. I really like this bottom part with three skulls head. This guy here, it, this monster here reminds me of uh, the pumpkin head. It's very, very similar to that. This wolf, of course, is like the reminds me of the howling. Some of these characters remind me of some movies. Of course, this reminds me of uh, Regan from Exorcist. And this is right now. This can be the. Uh, Myers, the ghost sheet, scarecrow on the top. No, I mean, I mean, of course, it's not Michael Myers, but it reminds me of that. So this three head monster right there. And this one, of course, is my Cloudy Valentine. Style. But yeah, it's really cool in my opinion. Uh, Ryan Root, they did, did a great job with this. Uh, and the box that I got actually, it says uh, 87 out of 300. But I don't know, maybe he decided to do 200 more. So. There's 500 actually are made of this. All right guys, that's all about this uh, Crypt Show Art by Brian Rood. In my opinion, he did a great job with this. I'm very happy and I'm glad that I can finally get one. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm actually gonna put the link in the description. You guys can check it out. Uh, this, I think, is were only available in Sideshow website. I thought, actually, when I was, uh, the Sideshow one got sold out, I was actually looking around to see if I can find one another website. I went to uh, Brian Root uh, website too, but when I wanted to purchase it, I will click here. It says I click here and I will click it, and it will take me to uh, Sideshow Collectibles website. So I. I found out that that's the only website that have this. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put the description. You guys, you guys, you guys can check it out, and they might, who knows, they might bring some back. And I will personally recommend this to any Crypt Show fan. Either the movie and the shows. I feel like still this is gonna look great in your collection. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If this is a pass or pick up or an art. Uh, I'm very curious, curious and also feel free to like and subscribe for more unboxing videos and until next time I'll see you guys later